With InVideo AI, you can turn any idea into a video instantly ready to publish. You simply put in a prompt like this or this or a specific brief description of a video you want. Then click on generate. In a very short time, in Video AI, we present you a complete video ready to publish. Have you ever wondered how an athlete's prowess can translate beneath the surface of the sea? Welcome to the exhilarating world of underwater sports. Today, we dive deep into the recent... When I say a complete video, it is indeed because from that single prompt you gave the tool, you now have a full video with all the necessary clips including voiceover, music and titles. And if you are not happy with what you have, you can regenerate a new video or simply edit what you don't like. The world of wildlife photography is as challenging as it is rewarding. It's fun, right? And the good news about InVideo AI is that everyone can give it a try for free. In fact, you can create up to four videos every week for free, as you can see here from their pricing page. So to get started, go to the official website of InVideo AI and you can find the link in the video description below. Once you're there, you simply log in or sign up. And this is my dashboard. And if it is your first time, you don't see a lot of stuff here. But if I go to my other account, then you can see so many previous projects. Now, this is where all the magic takes place. And this is where you put your prompt. Okay, you can do it like this underwater sport competition and then click on generate a video and then the AI is going to analyze the prompt and then it has finished to analyze it as you you can see now it gives me the title it says diving into action top underwater sports competition in the world now this is the settings which you have to go through the audience you have to set your audience is it sports enthusiasts adventure seekers or water sports fans look and feel platform i can keep it like this because the default is all right and it looks nice then i click on continue And as you can see on your screen, the AI is doing everything for me. It is scripting, it is selecting the footage from the stock and, and it is selecting the media or the footage, the video clips from the media stocks. And also it will put the voiceover and the music and the titles. Once it's complete, it gives me this window where I can preview my video, but the preview can only be in 480p, but when you export, it can be exported in 1080p. Now let's preview it. Have you ever wondered how an athlete's prowess can translate beneath the surface of the sea? Welcome to the exhilarating world of underwater sports. Today we dive deep into the recent heart-stopping underwater sports competition that had us all holding our breaths in anticipation. The competition kicked off with the thrilling sport of underwater hockey. Teams of six, armed with short sticks and snorkels, competed in a fast-paced game. Now, if you don't like what you have been given here, you have so many different options. Now, you can click here on the generate and this one we create a new video different from what we have here and it will be put here it will be number two but also you can click on edit here if you click on edit you can edit the media or the script but also you can put another prompt here let me say use a male voice and then click on generate 
all right let's give this scene a british touch it has now finished let's play it with the british Have you ever wondered touch? how an athlete's prowess can, can translate beneath the surface of the sea welcome to the exhilarating world of underwater sports Today, we dive deep into the recent heart-stopping underwater sports competition that had us all holding our breaths in anticipation. Can you hear that sound? It, it sounds like a the human being. The competition kicked off with the thrilling sport robotic. of underwater hockey. Teams of six, armed with short sticks and snorkels, competed in a fast-paced game at the bottom of the pool. The objective was simple, yet challenging. Propel Anyway, up here you can see you have the audience, the audience you have selected in your settings. Audience is sports enthusiast, look at look and feel, it's epic. And platform is YouTube. If you click on this plus icon here, you can change also what you want to change. You can move from epic to inspiring or from youtube to facebook instagram and if you want for example to edit the text the script you simply click on edit script and from here you can edit the narration but also you can edit the titles you have seen in your video when you're done to tweaking your video to edit your text to edit the narration to edit the music to edit everything you want or if you are simply happy with what you were given in the beginning you can export and if you click here you see there there are two options there is export video let's click on it and with the free plan you can't export the full hd you can't export without these watermarks you have seen when we we're playing when we we're previewing previewing it so you can only export the 720 that's the resolution you can only export the stock watermarks and the normal that means to have the nvidia ai logo oh i see you can export 1080p on the free plan because if i select it you can i can click on continue okay i didn't know this but for me in this video i don't want to record so i cancel it and then i go back here if i click on export project to timeline for those who are familiar with other softwares like premiere pro final cut and many others you will see what will happen you can see now that it has the timeline like the normal timelines we have on the desktop apps like premiere pro final cut or filmora and so many others but there is this warning that timeline editor is an experimental release so this is still in beta and it will be released once it's done what you can do here it is just to explore to see what is happening to, to have an idea of what it will look like and what it will be able to do click on ok and you can see here i have the timeline and for the moment i have eight tracks i have a2 and a i have a1 a2 a3 i believe a means the audio and then v it's video let's create a new one write a youtube video script about wildlife photographers keep the intro short and start with a hook use an energetic british male voiceover click on generate Imagine standing on the edge of a dense jungle, camera in hand, heart pounding with excitement and anticipation, waiting for that elusive creature to grace your lens. Welcome to the thrilling world of wildlife photography. In the next seven minutes, we'll journey into the heart of this fascinating pursuit, where patience meets passion and precision encounters unpredictability. Now, if you want to edit, you can click here on edit and then you can replace some of these images. Let's go to edit media. And then let's say probably I don't like the first image because I saw it was just a picture. I can upload my own image if I do have it, a picture or a video, but also I can come here and search again from the stock. 
I can type in wildlife photographer and then hit search. I can select any of the images I want. Maybe let, let me say that I like this one. This is a still image. I want a video. And after replacing everything you want, then click on apply. They will place the one you had in your previous video and you can also preview it and see if Imagine standing on the edge of a added of a dense jungle. Let me put on a camera in hand, heart pounding with excitement and anticipation, waiting for that elusive creature to grace your lens. Let's do another try and let's now say that we want to select the workflow. You can see we have YouTube short, we have YouTube explainer, we have recent events video. Let me select recent event, ex uh, recent event video and see if this will make if this AI will make it. Let me go to this website. It's BBC. Let me let me take this. I bring this link and then I put it here and maybe. Oh, I didn't know that I have to subscribe. Let me put it this one there. And let me keep everything by default and I click on continue. I just want to see what will happen. And then I click on generate a video. It's the same process. You can see it is going through the web going to different websites i'm not sure about the copyright and then here we have again to select about the settings let me keep them again uh, by default and i click on continue our tale begins at the g20 meeting held in the picturesque island of bali indonesia <coughs> The host nation, Indonesia, wasted no time in urging the foreign ministers present at the gathering to help put an end to the war in Ukraine. The G20 summit is taking place in India. My point of view is that maybe creating the recent news, it's not an easy thing for this tool. Probably, maybe if we use an archive story, something which has happened two years ago, one year, or two months ago, probably that could work. Let's maybe try something like about Russia and Wagner. Is it Wagner, Wagner? Generate. In the quiet pre-dawn hours of a late June morning in 2023, an event unfurled that would shake the very core of the Kremlin. A mutiny led by none other than the Wagner Group a mercenary outfit commanded by, Ye by Yevgeny Prigozhin. Their goal? To challenge, challenge the authority of the Russian bear himself, President, President Vladimir Putin. Sorry guys, that's because of my internet. It's not stable. I'm so sorry. Fueled by dissatisfaction and a sense of rebellion, the Wagner troops seized the city of Rostov-on-Don and parts of southern Russia. With an estimated 8,000... I think this one the tool the ai tool really made it well probably it's because this has happened two months or three i don't remember well but uh yeah it's two months ago or three months ago but when i gave it what is happening right now what has happened i think yesterday because this article was published 12 hours ago let's do another try and this is going to be about uh, christianity here is my prompt click on generate a video i think this is one of the easiest one probably uh oh look at what happened now i can't continue yes guys i wanted you to be aware of the limitations of the free plan for this in video ai free plan you only have four videos a week and those four videos a week the total duration has to be 10 minutes you can't go beyond 10 minutes or beyond four videos a week for the free plan 
unless if you click on upgrade and you go to the paid plans which is not bad because if you're intending to use this for let's say to start a youtube channel i think it is a very good idea if you go to a paid plan because you won't regret for your money actually you will be able to monetize your videos on youtube tiktok instagram or any other platform of your choice because in video ai is amazing but what's the difference between this in video ai from the existing in video studio do you want to know it watch this video <laughs>